Well, I had an experience today that I haven't experienced in, in quite a few years. I actually scored a vintage tube-type color television set at a flea market slash secondhand store. A friend of mine that works out of town spotted a flea market in the vicinity of where he works, so we made the 60-mile drive today, and amongst all the black plastic crap sets was this mid-60s RCA color console. I don't know what chassis is in it yet. I haven't removed the back. I haven't done anything. I asked the guy what he wanted for it, and he said $20, and I said, well, that's a little steep. You know, I said, one this old, I don't know what I'm going to have to do to it, or if I can even fix it at all, so I offered him 10 and he said, it's yours. It's an RCA Victor, New Vista color. Needs a channel knob. And it has controls, I guess, for the brightness and horizontal and vertical hold under here. Here's the back of the set. The model tag is missing, so don't know what model it is. And when I found it, it had a modern boombox style power cord hanging off of it, and I just pulled that off and left it behind. I can tell somebody's been in here. So let's pull the back off and see what we're up against. Okay, here's the chassis, a CTC-17XE, which I believe was RCA's first rectangular screen chassis. And I found this warranty card where the picture tube was replaced with an RCA Colorama in 1969. And I could tell that when I actually bought the set because there's a little bit of gaposis between the face of the CRT and the mask from where they didn't seat it properly. So I think right now we will test the CRT and see what kind of shape it's in before we continue. Okay, we have the B&K 470 CRT tester connected. And let's see what we've got. Heater to cathode short. Good. G1 to cathode short. Good. Set our cutoff to 50 volts. That's good. Or set our G1 voltage, excuse me. Now, G2 cut off, red. Green. And blue. Now we'll test test the emission, starting with the blue gun. Not too good. Green, red. Well, this tube has pretty much had it. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to let it cook at about 8 volts for a little while and see how it does. And if that doesn't work, I'll do a rejuvenation procedure. Also take note that the original tube cap on the horizontal output tube was busted off and is nowhere to be found inside the set. And while we're waiting on the CRT to cook, let's have a look at the flyback transformer and see what it looks like. There's the flyback transformer. There is some wax drippage down in the bottom, which may or may not be a sign of trouble. And I can feel the back side of the tire is all has a big hole in it, so that could be a sign of trouble. Yeah, look at this crusty mess where it burned. So yeah. This set may need a new flyback transformer, but we'll know more about that once we power it up. 
okay cooking it helped a little bit but really not that much so I'll tell you what let's do let's try to rejuvenate it and see what happens hold the button down until the needle falls I really don't think this tube's in good shape because if that cathode was very strong that needle would have stayed up a long time but I'm sure I can come up with another 23 inch tube to put in here Okay, let's see what that did. Okay, that helped a good bit. Red, green, blue. Now it should stay up long enough for me to get the rest of the chassis going. Oh yes, and from the same place I got this little 10 inch GE television from 1983. This is what I call the unofficial port of color 3 set. There was the original tube port of color, then there was briefly a port of color 2 solid state set in the early 70s that was a problem child, so they went back to producing the old tube port of color up until at least 78. And then and then around 78, the uh, this series of TV came along, which was a solid state set and was made up through the mid 80s. And it was also rumored that tube type port of colors were made up until at least 1980. Uh, this one's an 83 model, uses, I believe, the AB chassis. I hadn't even plugged it up. Let's fire it up and see if it smokes or comes to life. And it's dead as a doornail. Okay, well that'll be a project for another day. So there you go, a first look at a mid-60s RCA CTC-17 tube type color console and a 1983 10-inch GE Porta Color 3. The same place had another TV that I might end up getting if I ever go back. It was a 15-inch a RCA black and white from the early 70s. And it was one of those models that Radio Shack sold a tunerless version of as a monitor for their first TRS-80 color computers. So I may try to pick that one up one day. I don't foresee it going anywhere, so I'm sure it'll be there when I get ready for it. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.